Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Well, you're going to need your umbrella if you're on your way to the football game. 72 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport, and we do have some rain. Winds are out of the east-northeast, 17 miles per hour, very windy. Humidity levels 100 percent, dew point 72, and also some patchy fog across the area, so just take it easy out there. Atumwa coming in at, uh, we do see some warmer temperatures there. They saw more sunshine, 79 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Winds are out of the east-southeast at 8 miles per hour. Humidity levels 72 percent. Dew point 69. Well, this is what the rain looked like at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Again, it started from the south, working its way north. And that's why we saw a big temperature difference between southeast Iowa and northeast Missouri. We did get the rain, and it continues to uh, move through heavily at times. Some isolated thunderstorms are not out of the question, but no severe weather is expected with this as we're heading through tonight and into tomorrow. Finally, getting a little bit closer into southeast Iowa at 6 o'clock. So again, probably about 7 or near 7 o'clock. That's where it's going to start reaching into a Tumwa area. So again, if you're going to the football games, take a poncho, take an umbrella because you're going to need it. Well, the future cast again around 1 o'clock this or in the morning. Uh, rather tonight in the early morning. Heavy rain indicated by the yellows and the oranges and even some reds popping up. This is going to continue as we're heading into tomorrow as well. Uh, we are supposed to get some heavy rain tonight, one possibly up to two inches, an additional inch or so as we're heading through tomorrow. It'll continue to move out of the areas we're heading into early Sunday. And by, by evening hours, it'll be all out of here, giving way to some dry conditions. 71 degrees as your overnight low for tonight. Again, isolated thunderstorms are not out of the question. Southeast winds 5 to 15 with gusts up to 20 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, 79 degrees, breezy conditions, switching to the northeast 10 to 15 with a gust near 20 miles per hour. If you are going to the Labor Day Festival at the Jimmy Jones Shelter in Ottumwa, starting now, or actually this was today, and it, it goes through the weekend as well, it is going to be a wet one. So uh, overnight lows for tomorrow night, 67 degrees with rain continuing, northeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. How much rain are we expected? Well, again, it really depended upon the track of Isaac. So Isaac has wobbled just a little bit, so that has played a big part in how much precipitation we're going to be receiving. One to two inches in southeast Iowa still three, possibly up to four in certain locations in our viewing area in northeast Missouri. More likely, especially as we head into Macon County or the southern areas of our viewing area. So we do have some localized flooding to worry about as well. 83 degrees on Sunday. Uh, we'll see some partly sunny skies as we're heading into the afternoon. And then more rain moving in late Monday night, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Of course, you can get your forecast at heartlandconnection.com. A lot of rain coming. We've waited a long time for it, and we here have. it comes. Here it comes. Thanks,